parliamentarians at work if without calling for them to come back i cannot call them to come back <coughs> why because if they come back i will not be able to talk to be the way i'm talking it gives me the forum to talk the parliamentarians and the senators okay you are talking today weba weba where, where did we, weba start talking it's not in parliament Fundi has a self-serving motive for what he does. Mm -hmm. He is a selfish individual who has exploited the plight of our people to his own benefit and that of his family. But there were some people who were condemning what the boys did and the we warriors did. But I, I am one of those who believe who congratulated them for what they did. And this is the reason why I congratulated them. First and foremost, now we know from Fundi's own words, right, mm -hmm. that this is what he wants. Because he stated it categorically. He was not under any duress. Mm -hmm. The boys asked him questions. There was no intimidation. They asked him a simple question. Why are you not calling your SDA parliamentarians to come back? And he said, no, they are serving my purpose i want to be able to talk to beer so everything we said here all the vuvuzulas that were blowing in la republic we told we said it on this show that it was a charade yes yes it was a game I, and yes. frundi confirmed that yesterday to anybody who had doubted what we were saying i am sure you saw it yesterday because he called so that Taking him in and questioning him revealed exactly who Fundi is and the SDF. Yes, and there are a few questions. Uh, so, for how long would, 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 would Chairman Fundi continue to talk to Bia? How many people do they have to kill before he stops talking to Paul Bia? How many villages? No, but you, I, I don't even know why you're asking those questions. No, no, because uh, I'm asking the question because he thinks that he, he is being effective somehow by talking to Paul Beer. I mean, the SDF has been existing since the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. We are in 2019. Things have gotten worse. So I'm asking for... And things have gotten even progressively worse. So I'm asking, what is the purpose of that talk that he, he, is, he is talking about? You, you forgot to mention another thing. He substantiated that, that need to talk by saying that without the SDF, Weber would not have spoken at the parliament. But do you know that this, this party, SDF did not support Weber? No, I, you know, I told you I was still coming. Because remember, I told you there are a few reasons why I agreed with what happened. Right? Yes. So the first one was that it gave us an opportunity to know exactly who from the what his thinking is right? now we can understand that he is serving himself and himself alone remember we said on this show that those vuvuzulas that were blowing was to give Fundi a, a bargaining chip yes an upper hand for him to be able to go to these guys and say hey if you guys don't up the the package this is what i can do so that came out yesterday. Yes. And it is because yes. of the actions of these guys that, that we could see that. The other thing that I, I congratulated them was that, you know, these guys told Fundi who is in charge. Yes, that they are in charge. And they told him before they he came charge, yes. that if they decided, even if he brings how many thousand trucks of La Republic soldiers, if they make up their mind, that he, Fundi, and the cops of that guy who was not going to come into Bui, they will not come. But let me ask you a quick question. Where, you know, there, there's confusion whether they were kidnapped by, by made Amber Boys or by the real Amber Boys. Well, from the interrogation, you can see that they were Bui warriors. Okay. And they told him why they took him. They questioned him and they let him go because it was just there was no extortion there was no brutality on him yeah. and the reason i'm emphasizing this is because they are my understanding is that they are 
or the amber boys that are created by the minister, the minister of territorial administration and put into the territory in order to give a bad name to the amber boys he himself has said that or frundi frundi himself has said that okay so it is not us saying he is there and he knows and he has said that so what we are saying is that those of you who have disagreed with us when we have taken on the SDL, now you have your pudding. The, the proof is there in the pudding. You can see it. So he is telling us that he cannot call back his parliamentarians because he wants to really talk to Bia. Mm -hmm. He is forgetting that those people represent a people and those people that they represent have said we don't want you to represent us in that place right yes if you believe mr john frundi in the democracy that you claim that you are you are, you are, you are practicing your the constituents have said no you don't represent me you don't speak for me so you cannot come and sit and say uh, well, it confirms because he doesn't care about the people. He doesn't care about the views of the people. Those parliamentarians are there to serve his interest. And we have described on this show that each of those parliamentarians pays from the, a certain amount every month from the stipends they get from the Republic. So all of that, it is to serve from this interest and not to serve us. So he can come out and make all kinds of statements and prepare and pretend that about this and about that, how many cows he has lost, but we saw the real fundi in that interview. Yeah, it, 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 it almost sounded that he wanted to stay because it makes him relevant. Mm -hmm. um, but let me say, you know, the the the, the question the, the Amber Boys asked, when are you going to withdraw your troops? There's a reason why he will withdraw your, withdraw your MPs. There's a reason, there's a history. There's a history of withdrawing MPs from a parliament, and it was because it had effect. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, and it's because in 1954, the 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 the, the, the Ambazonian representatives in the Eastern House of Assembly in Nigeria withdrew, and because they withdrew, uh, it necessitated it necessitated the 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 the, the formation of an Ambazonian. Uh, government in Boya. Yeah, the Southern Cameroon's government. The Southern Cameroon's government. So that is where these kids were coming from by saying, when are you go going to withdraw so that you, you cut off that umbilical cord that La Republic is trying to hang on to by doing some of what you, you just described? Mm -hmm. Because to be honest with you, if, if our MPs, if they, if, S, if they are not our MPs, if SDF MPs withdraw from the parliament, and the, and the Senate, fake Senate, because that's not a Senate. You know, Pa, these people go on and mimic all these things in order to keep playing this fraudulent game, not only to our people, but to the rest of the world. Uh, and I'm saying this because I see the European Union quoting, oh, the parliament, the judiciary. No, it's a one-man country. It's a one-man country, the representative of France, and that representative, Paul Bia. And he has all these other Turks. With very fraudulent systems created more to more to blackmail they're not system that work you cannot you cannot go to court and get justice you cannot go to parliament even france itself does have a, a strong parliament what about their colony you know what i'm saying so so but but the symbolism of sdf withdrawing from there is what these kids are asking for and frundi gave a reason why he will not withdraw yeah and uh, i am glad that you brought that uh, eastern house of assembly example because the, the, what those people did at that time, remember that the British did not want us to go anywhere. They were ready to attach us to Nigeria. Yes. We were going to stay in Nigeria. And it is because of the act of those courageous people that we even had a, a, a country or a state to talk about. Yes. Because we, the, the risk was that they could leave from that place and end up nowhere. Yes. But they said that was a risk that we were going to take. And we are, I have said on this show, or we have said on this show that when our people put their mind on something, they get it. That is what our forebears did. Yes. Living uh, in Ugu. Yes. And 
it 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 it, we, we, it it is going to happen nothing is going to stop us so i just wanted i'm glad that you brought that example because it showed courage the people there was a threat that we did not even we were not even going to exist because the british were powerful they were the administering authority and they could just do whatever they want but our forebears said no we have had enough in this eastern house of assembly and we are going to get out and they went to Malfe and constituted themselves and got us to where we were before the british they went back to the united nations and continued that game and and subverted our 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 interest yes and i'm going to pick up from from this statement that you made that anything that our people put their mind on they get so uh the 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 colonial government of the southwest kawala frundi none of these are going to prevent the people of ambazonia from having their independence uh, i was going to say that we should invite the, the the colonial government of the southwest on our independence day match but but i'm thinking why give him that honor you know what i'm saying because because it's going to happen it's going to happen 